Yo guys, what is happening among my 12 play games and welcome to another video. Now today we're actually going to be doing something a little bit different. We're going to be looking at an Xbox 360 with a disc tray that doesn't work. Now this is going to be a quick and easy fix that will actually work for this system and the original Xbox. So if either of those systems that you have are broken and uh, the disc tray is not opening, this is the video for you. Now real quick, I'm not using my regular microphone. I'm actually using the microphone on this camera. So it's not going to sound as good as usual, but it's okay. It's just a quick video. So let's jump right into it. All right guys, so for this fix, you're really only gonna need like a little pair of tweezers, something like this, in order to grab a little elastic band which is gonna be inside of there. I've actually already done this with my original Xbox before. So it's just gonna be right in here, I'll show you guys in a second. But we're gonna have to remove that band and then put it into a sink. So as long as you have a sink nearby with some running water, you're gonna uh, need that band in your Xbox. You're gonna wanna grab it with the tweezers and we're gonna put it in the water. Pretty easy fix. The first thing though is that you wanna get this disc tray to be open while the Xbox is off. So what I would recommend doing is plugging in your Xbox. If the disc tray is already not working, you're gonna wanna like literally just bang the top quite a bit. You could obviously try to get in there with like a tool or something, but you don't wanna damage the Xbox. So you could bang the thing quite a bit, even take the front plate off, try to get it open that way. Any way that you can, but you need to get this thing open and then hold it open as you turn the system off and that should work great. So once you've gotten the system open like this, let me show you guys what you're gonna need to remove. All right, so off the bat here, guys, it's kind of hard to see, but it's actually this little black thing right here, this little elastic band. You can kind of see it. I'm trying to hold the camera here. There we go. It's this little black elastic band. You're gonna wanna remove that with the tweezers. And I don't know if I'll be able to do it here with the camera, but uh, yeah, you need to remove that out of here. All right, guys, so you guys have seen, I've kind of gotten the band off here. It's gotta come off of that back one though. There we go. We've got the band out and that's what you're gonna need. And there you guys have it. That is the little band that we're going to be removing. It's fairly simple from here. We're actually going to take this into a sink and give it a little bit of water to kind of clean it off. And that's what actually moves the disc tray back and forth. You can also kind of take some of the dust out of the actual Xbox. You guys can see here. I don't know if you can see too well, but there is a lot of dust in this system. So that is what's getting caught on here. And that's what's not allowing the disc tray to move. All right, guys. So I've made it to a sink here. We're going to actually just turn the water on and take the band. Just run it through the water here, just like so. There we go guys, the band should be nice and clean now. We're just gonna dry it off and then we're ready to put it back inside the Xbox. All right, so now we are back in here. We've got our dry elastic band. This is actually the difficult part. We had to take this band and try to reinstall it in here. It's a little more difficult, but I've done it before. Let's see if I can actually get it again today. All right, just to point out, there's a little bit of a circle here which you guys can't really see. You see I'm spinning it though? That piece right there is what the elastic has to attach on. And then that little silver piece right at the top of my finger there, that is the other piece that the elastic has to attach to. Oh, you know what my bad guys, it's actually a black piece right behind the silver piece there, but it's basically in that area. It's literally right behind there. You just got to attach one end to the elastic there, and then there's a little track that it'll fit in right along this uh, wheel. All right, guys, why well, is it something interesting happened to me? I just had this disc tray close on me, so now I got to figure out how to get this thing off, open this thing back up without the elastic in it. This should be interesting. All right, guys, so the front panel of this Xbox has been removed, so let us just open this thing back up. That was a fail. Yeah, you guys can see though the gears there. You guys can also see my iPhone, but the gears back there are what's actually moving the, uh, the the little band that we've removed. And that's what's actually making this thing open and close. All right, well, I have successfully reinstalled this band right here. Let me get a quick close up for you guys right in there i know it's kind of hard to see but you guys can see that the band is in there it has been cleaned and now it is working so the next thing that you gotta do and the last thing is to plug it in and make sure that your disc tray does open and close so we've plugged in the xbox here and turned it on let's just test the disc tray real quick there we go so it's opening and closing as it should be because we replaced the band now there's actually a pretty funny story with this if you guys do want to hear it eventually maybe i'll tell the story one day but uh, we did get it fixed ultimately the band ended up falling in the system i had to do a whole bunch of stuff took the entire thing apart but don't worry about that we got the band installed and that's what you guys should do just be careful don't drop your band back there if you guys did enjoy the video don't forget to go down below leave a like comment and subscribe i will see you guys all in the next video